This video is brought to you by Loot Crate. Head today to LootCrate.com slash ReviewTechUSA and enter the code RTU to save 10% on any subscription plan. Skip it up and that up! So, Breck Bedner, a 14-year-old kid from England, uh, seemed like he was a pretty cool guy. He was into gaming, he was into computers. His mom, uh, Lauren Lefebvre, uh, said that he was into tweaking computers. I bet she means overclocking. He was always looking to get more performance out of his PC. He seems like the kind of kid who would probably watch uh, Review Tech USA. Uh, but sadly, uh, things turned out very bad for Breck, and he got into the wrong crowd. Now, you would think when I say the wrong crowd, is that he went out partying, went out drinking, things like that. No, he went into the wrong, he met the wrong crowd online, or the wrong person, I should say, online. And this wrong person was a uh, 19-year-old Lewis Danes from Essex, England. Now, according to uh, Breck's mom, uh, Lauren, she had a very bad vibe about this guy, Lewis, that Breck met online. Uh, his avatar online, I don't know if it was Xbox Live or PC, they don't really, these two articles are kind of muddy. Um, he didn't, he, his avatar had not a picture of himself. Um, and she noticed that after Breck met this guy, Lewis online, he started becoming more introverted. Uh, his personality started to change and she became very concerned that he was being groomed. She wasn't sure of Lewis's age at the time. Honestly, she said he thought he was, he, she pictured him to be like a 40 year old fat pedophile. Those are actually her exact words, but she was very concerned about this guy, uh, Lewis. And she even informed the police, which I'm not too sure what they could have done. Um, people find me creepy. <laughs> Just because you find someone creepy doesn't mean you can uh, do too much to them. But Breck went to meet Lewis in Ex Exus, England, Essex, England on February 17th, 2014. And he was supposed to show up at his father's house later, and he never did. Uh Breck's father actually gave a text message to Lauren saying, hey, look, our son never came here. He was supposed to be here. And then later, Breck's uh, siblings actually were getting texts that they saw that Breck was murdered because someone was putting up pictures of their brother's lifeless body up on social media. It turns out he was. And it turns out Louis Danes actually did murder him. He's a 19-year-old uh, software engineer. And yeah, he actually killed this kid, Breck. And he was basically grooming him to be murdered. And he put up the pictures online for everyone to see, which is mind boggling. Now, I have two things I want to talk about uh, with this murder. One, first and foremost, actually three things. One, first and foremost, it's tragic. W what a horrible way for th this kid to go. Um, and it, it just shows a couple things. But the first thing I want to talk about, though, is I have to give Lauren Lefebvre, the mother, a lot of credit. Uh, she has up a uh, Breck Bedner Memorial Fund, and her slogan is "Play Virtual, Live Real." And if you've seen, I've seen a couple interviews with her, and she never once, as far as I've seen, has attacked gaming. Um, she basically, you know, she said she treats the internet like it, it's a public place, and just you have. It's almost like putting your kid in the middle of a city. Would you let your kid be in the middle of a city and talk to anyone out there? No, you wouldn't. It's the same thing with the internet. And I have to give her credit because especially in the state that she's in, a lot of people would just get very emotional and say, video games are evil. Video games killed my son. The reason my son is dead is because of video games. And she's not doing that. And that's a first. So I, I feel very bad for her, but I have to give her a lot of credit for handling this the way she's handling it and still keeping her sensibility about her in for probably the most horrible time she's ever had in her life. She's still being very logical and sensible. Um, secondly, and I've said this before, I've talked about how, you know, when people, when grown men would try to meet kids in video games and, and try to pick them up, you have to realize you got to watch what your damn kids are doing, man, because you have to realize the internet, just because your kid is home in your, in your home comfortable, when they get on the computer, they have access to billions of people, millions, if not billions of people. And obviously there's going to be horrible people out there with horrible intentions. And you have to keep an eye on your kid just because your kid is two feet away from you and you see him on the laptop or PC, like, oh, they're in front of me. They're safe. You have no, you got to watch what they're doing. You have no idea what they're doing. And things like this could happen if you don't pay attention. Now, this woman seemed like she did, but, but it still seemed like no matter what she did, her son 
still was hell bent on talking to this guy Lewis Danes. But you just got to watch out, man, because you don't know who's out there. And especially these same weirdos before the internet, it was tougher for them to do things like this. Not saying it didn't happen. It's still people were murdered and raped and all that before the internet. But now with the internet, they could be totally anonymous totally anonymous and they could be even more dangerous than they could be before the internet so you have to keep your eyes open and remember the internet is a public place just like when you walk out your door and go drive down to new york city it's just as public if not more so because people could not not only are your kids in a public place the people they meet can be totally anonymous or lie about who they are and your kids could be in real danger this is proof of that all right folks this is rich of review tech usa make sure to rate comment favorite and subscribe and as always thank you for supporting my channel have a good one